Hey everyone, my Canon M50 has arrived. For the benefit of anyone who didn't see the video the other day, I had ordered the Canon M50 from eGlobal. After two weeks, they sent me an email saying that it wasn't in stock and it wouldn't be delivered for another week or two. And with me going to a conference, I really did want to have the Canon M50 for going away. So I started looking at some different options. I did look at buying, um, you know, from another shop. But again, if I ordered it from China where it's a lot cheaper, I wouldn't have gone it in time. What I ended up doing was turning to eBay and yeah, I got it today. Now, what I've got here is a little bit different. I had ordered the Canon M50 with the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. This one has the 18 to 150 millimeter lens. Now, that lens alone is like 400 pounds on Amazon. So I ended up paying 550 pounds for everything, but he's put on, he's put in the more expensive lens. Uh, he's put in a lens hood, a couple of batteries, and a few other things. And he bought it from John Lewis in the UK a few months ago. So I have like, you know, like 20 months of a UK warranty still left. So I paid a little bit more than what I expected to pay, but I've got a better lens, I've got a UK warranty, and you've got a few extra things thrown in. So I'll get my overhead camera out, I'll get this camera out, and yeah, we'll see what the condition is like, and we'll see what this camera is all about. So as you saw in the unpacking there, it was quite well packaged with bubble wrap. He included the original receipt from John Lewis and he's also thrown in this uh, lens hood. Now I've ordered official lens hoods for my other lenses, which will hopefully arrive in a few days, but maybe not. Um, this one looks like a third party one. So this one's a little bit cheaper, but you know, give it a try. Worst case scenario, if it's not what I need, I can, um, you know, buy another one. Um, I'll just quickly show you the box. Uh, you can see that the actual kit here is the 18 to 150. This gives me a lot more range than the 15 to 45. I've kind of got the 15 uh, millimeter range covered anyway because I'm uh, getting the 11 to 22 millimeter delivered as well, together with the 22 millimeter prime. Um, so, yeah, let's get this open and see what it's like. So we've got a European warranty there. We have the manual, which looks very, very extensive. Lots of different languages. That's what happens when you live in Europe. Extra batteries thrown in. This is a third party battery, 875 milliamps. Now I do have other batteries. I, I've actually bought two additional ones. These ones are actually bigger. Um, these ones I think are like 1400 I think, but hey, I don't mind having extra batteries, it's always good. Um, okay, we've got the camera strap. Looks okay. We'll get through the boring stuff. All very well packaged. We've got the official charger there, and this is mains operated, which isn't too bad because I do have one that's powered with USB. So this is the official Canon one. Um, okay, I'll take this stuff out. So there's the other battery there. We've got two third party batteries. We've got the, the UK mains adapter for the charger. That looks all good. Um, and then we've got the lens and the camera. Kudos to the seller. So far, everything looks really well packaged. I can't complain. So, this is it. This is the 18 to 150. Now, a lot of people say that this is a fantastic walk around lens, which means that you know you don't have to take two or three lenses. If this is the only lens that you, you have with you, then this is quite versatile and it allows you to. Um, take photos and record in a lot of different um, situations. So that goes from 18 to 150. And this is the Canon M50 itself. Looks very, very good. Now I'm recording right now with the RX10. 
Um, but it's, it's interesting to draw comparisons between this and the RX100. The RX100 here is, you know, it's probably the, the smallest camera that you could buy as far as, you know, a good compact. Um, and you can see the difference in size between them. The Canon M50 is obviously bigger here, but it's certainly not a big camera. Um, you know, I wasn't sure what to what to expect when I saw this in person, but um, yeah, very, very impressed. Quick look around the camera. You've got the tripod thread there. Um, you've got your battery and memory card slot there, which probably get um, blocked when I uh, add, you know, put this on a tripod or something, no doubt. And um, this can pop out the lens cap, etc. if you're changing lenses. There is the all important mic port. Can I get this open? So there's the mic port. I'll zoom down, give you a closer look here. So there's the mic port. There isn't a port for monitoring your audio. So you have to kind of just do some tests beforehand and make sure you've got your levels right. But the mic input is there. Play button, you've got your main kind of menu button there. Info, uh, there's a menu button there. So that's your main play, your main interface up and down, etc. Menu, info. And then you've got the swivel screen. And yeah, looks like it's in good condition. No problems there. There isn't a screen protector on. I'm not sure whether I will add one or not. Um, this will turn. Which way does it go? Yeah, it goes that way. Right, I was wondering why that was, wasn't was turning there. The mic port was still still open there. Um, so yeah, if you want to, you know, if you're actually recording, you can hold it like that. Um, you can, of course, flip it around like that. But from a vlogging point of view, this is why people buy cameras like this. You can see yourself. Uh, and this is in contrast to the Canon M6 and other cameras like this where it just flip up. But of course, the reason this goes to the side is so that you can put an external microphone here on the top. And that's exactly what I want to do. Um, got your viewfinder there. The hot shoe, there's a flash button. Uh, there's a flash here as well. Um, record uh, record is at the front there. With your shutter button, manual function. Now this doesn't have an aperture dial here like a lot of cameras do, but I don't think that's going to be a major problem. I believe this flash just kind of pops up. At the other side here, we've got a Wi-Fi button and there is the HDMI. So all in all, yeah, it looks nice. You've got your, uh, there's like a, a view button and all that there as well. Um, yeah, looks good. What I'll quickly do is I'll, I'll put in a battery and then I'll, um, there's the official batteries there as well. Sorry, I didn't show that earlier. So I'll put in a battery and then I'll, I'll put on the lens and I'll just quickly see what this is like. So this is the camera with the lens on. And of course, at this point, this is a lot bigger than my uh, little Sony. Of course it is. Um, I'll turn this on. The seller did note that there was a tiny speck of dust in the lens, but it doesn't show up in any footage. So I don't think there'll be a problem with that. Um, so it's going to take me a while to get used to how all this works. Uh, from here, it looks very similar to the Sony menu. Um, you know, there'll be a few things I'll need to do. For example, the first one, I will format it. Um, there we go. Um, yeah, you know, uh, there's a lot of things I'll need to check in here as far as the audio and, you know, test everything and see what everything, you know, what everything does and what I need to change, what I don't need to change. And there's a lot of things that I might not change until later. You know, there's, there's certain things that you don't really re realize uh, until later on. I'll certainly be changing from 720p, that's for sure. Um, and can I go up there? Why is that not going up? Right, so there's a few things I'll need to check here to make sure I'm recording on the right settings, etc. Um, yeah, but um, as far as the lens go, if I can get it all in the shot, um, where am I here? Show you this. Yeah, so this is it fully extended. It's quite long when you see it like that. So, yeah, obviously I went from buying this new to buying this used, but 
I don't think I've did. Um, sorry, the wrong lens cover. Um, I don't think I've did too bad here because what I've got here is um, instead of the fifteen to forty-five kit lens that a lot of people don't like, I've ended up with the eighteen to one hundred and fifty. And even if I don't like this, and you know, after a month or so, I find I'm not using it, then I should be able to get you know maybe a one hundred and fifty to two hundred pounds for it. This does retail for about four hundred pounds new in the UK. You're still going to be 300 plus for this lens if you order from China. So, in that regard, um, in that regard, I think I've done okay, and I've got the UK warranty, etc. So, first impressions. You know, at this point, I haven't you know tested it. I haven't shot any uh, footage or anything like that. But just as far as holding it goes, uh, it feels really good. With the the Sony RX100 uh, here, you can see that it's kind of smooth, and that's what it's like at the other side. And I bought this, well, it's actually an official Sony grip, which I glued on to give you that, you know, that that strength when you're holding it. Still a little bit hard to hold it because it is a small camera. But this feels, you know, being a larger camera, you can get a, a better grip on it. And it feels good in the hand. And even with this larger lens, even with the larger lens, it isn't too heavy or anything like that. Um, this does look like, um, you know, with this lens and camera. If you only had this lens, I suspect this would be quite a good combination to use. Um, I'll switch back to the webcam, guys, and I'll show you it with the microphone on, etc., just to give you a better idea as to what this will be like. But, yeah, first impressions, the Canon M50 looks pretty good. So here it is, guys. This is the Canon M50, and you can see I've got it on this mini tripod here. I reviewed this last week. This is a Suru 3T35. Um, this is kind of the setup that I'll be using when I'm going to the conference. Um, the idea being that I can sit this down, you know, I can interview someone, just put this on a tabletop. Um, but also, I can, if I want, flip the legs up and kind of use it like a, you know, more like a vlogging setup where I hold it like this. Um, so that would be the idea. If I'm walking around, I can do it like this. Now, obviously, if I'm vlogging, I'm not going to be zooming in at 150 millimeters. Uh, even at 18 millimeters, it's, it's okay at 18, milli, uh, 18 millimeters, but I think for vlogging, you would be better at the 15 millimeter and the 15 to 45 kit lens or the 11 to 22, which is what I've ordered. But um, as far as what everyone's saying is an all day lens, then yeah, I can see why people are saying that. Um, I'll take it off this uh, tripod just now and just kind of show you the camera. Um, so I've got the, the third party lens hood on, I've got my Shure VP83 on, and the cable kind of dangles around a little bit, but yeah, it's not too bad. And you can see that the, the LCD screen, you know, faces the front if you're vlogging, but if I'm walking around vlogging, I can easily flip it round, you know, just flip it back. If I want, you know, if I want to go to the viewfinder, I'm talking to the mic. If I want to go to the viewfinder, I just, you know, flip the screen around. Um, I can see, why so many people want this you know one of the criticisms that a lot i've seen a lot of people saying is that in comparison to the M m5 and the m6 this one feels cheap now i don't think that now i haven't seen the m5 i've not tried the m5 or tried the m6 both of those have limitations the m5 the screen flips down the way the m6 it flips up which is good but then you can't use an external microphone so both of those um cameras had limitations and you from a vlogging point of view, it really would be restrictive. I did consider them, but it would be restrictive using them. But I haven't looked at them, but I don't think this feels cheap. I think this feels really good. Now, granted, I am just drawing comparisons between my Sony cameras. And as far as comparisons go, wow, this has got touchscreen. I'm not used to a touchscreen on a camera. Um, my, Panasonic, my Panasonic G6, which I sold a few years ago, had a touchscreen, but I always found myself using the, the dials instead. But this uh, touchscreen does seem quite good. Um, Size-wise, if I can get this up, um, I guess it kind of fits in between my existing cameras. You know, you've got the, the, the if I bring this, where am I going? Right. Um, I've got the Sony RX100 here. This is the smallest of the small. This is small enough you can put it in your pocket and figure out about it. It is fantastic, but the focal length is a little bit too long for vlogging. Uh, and it doesn't have an external microphone. But if, you know, you're not doing YouTube, you're not doing any videos, this is fantastic. Put it in your pocket, you'll get fantastic footage and fantastic photographs with that. The Sony RX10 here, again, both of these are Sony. Um, this is a bridge camera, you know, like a, a compact, just like this. You can't change the lens on this. But the lens on this 
is like this is it's a zoom this goes 24 to 200 um why am I doing that? I could just I can put it up and down. I'm manually doing it there. Um, so this one has a very long lens as well, but this lens is fixed. I can't put a different lens on this. Uh, and this is a little bit on the heavy side. Now I bought this one for unboxing, and this is the the the, the one that I use with the tripod down there to do the unboxing and show you what was in the box. This is a fantastic camera, very cheap to to um, to pick up, but size wise, I mean, look at that. There is a big difference, and obviously this has got the microphone on the top. Um, I'll take this off for a second just to show you without the microphone. Uh, I'll turn it off. So just from a, a size perspective, what am I going to do here? Right, I'll hold it like this. Um, right, I was going to mix them around there. I was just going to confuse people. Right, so I've got the Sony RX10 here and the Canon M50 here. Now, the front is maybe not apparent, but if you do it side by side, you can see that, you know, this is like the baby brother. This is tiny compared to that. You can definitely feel it when you're holding it, that the Sony RX10, you know, this one's nearly 900 grams, I think. Um, this one is under 400 grams, but then you add the lens, but this is still a lot lighter than this, and it's a lot smaller as well. Now, right now, this looks like a, a huge camera because I've got this um, 18 to 150 millimeter lens, but the 11 to 22 is like about that, and the 22 millimeter prime is even smaller. So, this is a, you know, probably on the long side as far as the lenses go that you'd buy for this camera. And, you know, there's no problem holding it like that, even with the long lens. So, yeah. So I had a look at the menu there. I was quickly, you know, testing the audio and things like that, you know, just testing the audio levels. I need to do lots of tests with that. Now, I had an idea to do some footage for you guys just now, but time is not my friend today. I'm I'm very busy. I'm going out tonight and I'm very busy tomorrow as well. So I, I need to sit for a few hours and, and mess around with this before I really, you know, show you guys what it's all about. Um, as far as getting the Canon M50, I think, you know, I, I've went from going from a, you know, buying from Hong Kong and then it wasn't delivered because, well, it's Hong Kong. Um, and I've spent £550, but relatively speaking, yes, it's used, but this was like, you know, this still is about £780 for this kit um, if you buy it in the UK. So I'm happy I've got the warranty if any, you know, if I've got any problems. If the seller is watching this, kudos, um, maybe I'll find a problem. But right now I can't see anything wrong with this. It really does look like it's in mint condition. He's looked after it and hopefully I will do the same. The You can see I've got the, the third party lens on, uh, the lens hood. And I was just having a quick look. It doesn't seem to be any uh, vignetting. Is that what you call it? And there doesn't seem to be any problems with the lens hood. Um, so I, I'm not sure if I will go out and buy an official one or not. But time will tell. So, yeah. At this point, I really don't know too much about the M50 as far as using it, as far as what I don't like, what I do like. But as far as the design goes, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, it's got everything that I need for vlogging. Um, but I won't just be using this for vlogging. This is going to be very versatile. The fact that I've bought three lens, you know, I've kind of got one for bokeh, I've got one for vlogging, and I've got a long lens that can handle everything else. So I will be using this quite a lot. In fact, you know, yes, that my Sony RX10 will remain my unboxing camera, and my RX100 will still get some use as well. But this is going to be my main camera. I'm going to be using this a lot, and. I've been lazy today, I'm recording this right now with my webcam, but hopefully the footage isn't too bad. But long term, hopefully you will see better clips because of this camera. So thanks for watching guys, and thanks for all the support, I do appreciate it. A lot of you guys have been posting comments and helping me out to make the decision to buy the M50. I did look, a lot of, uh, I look at a lot of Sony cameras, I looked at a couple of Panasonics, and I looked at all my options, and I still feel that the Canon M50 was the right camera to buy. Uh, time will tell. But um, I, I don't think that um, I'll, I'll have any problems with this. This is without doubt the best camera for me right now. And all the other cameras that were fantastic but didn't have a swivel screen or fantastic didn't have an external mic port. Uh, you know, apart from not having an option to monitor your mic, this is everything that a vlogger needs. Apart from this long ass lens. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I will be doing more videos with the N50 once I've learned more about it. And once I get time to go outside and, and you know record some footage etc. Uh, stay tuned guys. If there's anything that you want me to test with the M50. Anything you want me to address in the future. I don't have an answer now. But I will have when I mess around with the menu system and all that. 
So, yes, from me and my little portable little M50. It's looking good, isn't it? Um, yeah, from me, guys, I'll speak to you all in the next one. Thanks for watching again, and thanks to everyone who's helped me make the decision to buy this camera.